What the fuck is up, Fam of Liberty? And everybody else watching this video who isn't part of the Fam of Liberty, who's not following our channel for some inexplicable reason. It's your boy Big Sarge, or the artist formerly known as Admin Tim, founder of the Sons of Liberty. If you're just coming across my channel for the very first time, then let me spell it out for you. Fuck Donald Trump and fuck MAGA traitors. Suck my girthy fat cock, you fucking bootlicking simps who hate America. This channel and its comment sections are not a safe space for bootlicking simps for a wish.com fascist oligarch and a wannabe authoritarian tyrant. You thought we were insufferable and intolerant after 2020? Guess what, motherfuckers? Buckle up. Y'all cocksuckers may have won the election somehow, but that doesn't mean that you're going to steamroll people. Yesterday I mentioned that I shot over half an hour of footage and I wasn't sure how much of it that I was going to be able to fit into a video. So over the next few days when you see me wearing this brown shirt, this has all been shot the day that the election results were made public. Now before I get into today's topic, a lot of you have asked me over this past six months how you can join the Sons of Liberty thinking that we're some sort of club. A growing number of you have asked about local and regional chapters. My answers have varied depending on the time frame, but considering what just happened to our country, I'm adjusting fire based on popular demand. At the end of most of my videos, I've plugged something called Discord. One of the things that I've mentioned is that on Discord, we can't be deplatformed by Mark Fuckerberg and Dustin Kunkmack and Apartheid Andy, aka Melon Husk, or whatever his goddamn name is. That's important if you consider the fact that Dustin Coxmack deplatformed our original Facebook page, which had a reach of between 8 and 9 million people before they pulled it offline several months ago and forced us to start over. All of these dudes have their noses firmly up Donald Trump's ass, and all of them are eagerly licking Fanta Claus's boots. Thank you, Brianna, for that new alias. Anyway, as of yesterday, a number of people in the fam of Liberty began organizing into local and regional chapters. We're doing this on Discord. The resistance begins with us. I strongly, strongly encourage you to get on board. And that brings me, finally, to the subject of today's post-election thoughts round three. I need you to understand that at some point, it is very, very possible that it's going to come down to a fight. And I don't mean in the courts. The reason that I suggest this is because the right wing has already begun ramping up the violent rhetoric. These are the same people who flew their flags upside down when Biden got elected, who are now complaining about the fact that everybody on the left and the center and the never Trumpers are suddenly raising hell about the fact that Donald Trump was reelected somehow. So at the same time, when they're telling you to calm down, they're also posting their own violent rhetoric. Matt Walsh also basically came out and said, yeah, we've been lying about Project 2025. That is the plan. If you were surprised by this, I, I can't even begin to tell you how fucked your situational awareness has been for months because this has been a real thing that we have talked about extensively that has been covered all over social media. As another example, yesterday, publicly avowed white supremacist Nick Fuentes, who promotes white supremacist, misogynistic, and anti-Semitic views, and has publicly fantasized about marrying underage girls. How the fuck are you a white supremacist when you're of Mexican descent? Anyway, self-described incel Nick Fuentes posted on Twitter, which is one of the social media platforms that bans liberal content, but allows right-wing hate speech. His Twitter post basically said, your body, my choice. If anyone is shocked and surprised by this incel's gross and rapey comment, well, maybe it's time for you to pull your head out of the sand. This dude is a pedophile. Nick, buddy, first of all, you don't ever have to worry about that because no woman is ever going to voluntarily let you fuck her. Secondly, it'd be a real goddamn shame if this motherfucker fell into a wood chipper. So I'd like to introduce you all to the concept of FAFO. I know you've heard of FAFO, but FAFO is pronounced differently. And let me spell it out for you. F-A-F-F-O means fuck around and fatally find out. To that end, we're going to be talking about a couple of subjects that some of you are only just now starting to consider. I know there are a few holdouts among you that abhor violence, hate guns, or whatever. I respect your pacifist views and or vows of nonviolence. I hope that goes well for you when Donald Trump, a.k.a. Santa Claus, sends his right-wing jackboots to come for you and or your body. Today, I'm going to briefly cover two questions I was asked yesterday. Big Sarge, what kind of guns should I buy? And Big Sarge, should I learn self-defense? Now, I've mentioned before that I'm pro-second, and by that, I mean sensibly. I've been saying this since 2016. If you're not armed, then now is the fucking time for you to go out and invest in purchasing a firearm and ammo. Lots of ammo. Because you're going to want to take some gun safety training and then spend a lot of time at the range learning how to shoot properly. 
It's no secret to anyone who isn't a MAGA fuckface ass clown that liberals own more guns than they do. We just don't make it a penis extension to overcompensate, and only dumb fucks broadcast and telegraph with open carry. Like, congratulations, moron, you're the first person that's going to get targeted by some clown looking to take people out. Now, as far as what you should be shooting, that's a question that only you can answer. Literally. That's between you and your wrists. What can you shoot that you can control? There's no one-size-fits-all here. You want something that works for you, not what your buddy Jimmy tells you that you should shoot. Anyway, that's your first step. If you're a woman in America, I also encourage you to also take some self-defense classes. Learn some type of martial art. Anything that gets you an advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The average dude bro doesn't know how to fight. The average male attacker tends to rely on surprise and strength. Ever seen two dudes fight? Usually it's dudes shoving each other or ramming their chests into each other like angry goats. You know what you usually don't see? A fight with a competent opponent that lasts longer than it takes that one guy to get his good shot in. Learn some self-defense and learn where to hit someone to put them on their ass. Personally, I always lead off with a headbutt because that shit hurts like a motherfucker. You ever been accidentally dinged on the bridge of your nose? Anyway, your next step is to cut out all the bullshit and hand-wringing and pearl-clutching. There's some mean motherfuckers that are coming to power, and losing the Senate and potentially the House means that we're on our own. Social media is not going to save you. Changing your profile picture is slacktivism, and that's not going to save you either. Cutting MAGA fuckface ass clowns out of your life ain't going to save you. They still know who you are. The news media is not going to save you. They exist to make profits, and they're looking at four more years of profit. And to be honest with you, half the reason that we're here is because the media wanted ratings profit from the Trump circus sideshow freaks. The irony here is that the same corporate media juggernauts are going to try to get your eyeballs on their content to unironically try to tell you in these dark times, even though they're basically the ones who helped to get us here in the first place. Y'all stay frosty, heads on a swivel. I'm going to keep doing my thing, so follow me for more life hacks or whatever. On that note, social media is pretty much owned by capitalist bootlickers who are either weak and afraid or who tacitly endorse fascists. Capitalists always veer towards fascism because they have the money to stay protected if they aren't actively taking part in it. So I'm shifting a lot of my involvement with the Fam of Liberty over to the Sons of Liberty Discord server. What's a Discord, you might ask? Google it, and then go on and get you a Discord and come join us there. The motherfuckers can't censor us or mute us or deplatform us over there. To underscore the point, some of y'all are still asking why you can't find us on Facebook, even though we've said it a billion times. If you like our video content, then we'd appreciate it if you'd follow us on all of the other socials, whichever ones that you've got. Yes, we do have an OnlyFans. On YouTube and TikTok, we'd also appreciate it if you'd subscribe like and get notifications on our channel it's a little bit of a different process on tiktok but if you're on tiktok then you already know that you can help us extend our reach by sharing our video content on all of your socials and you can help us beat the algorithm by leaving us at least seven words in the comments why seven words i've said it so many times that if you haven't watched any of my other videos then go watch that and find the answer because that's where i'm gonna give it to you if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then leave me a comment that says, I made it to the end of the video, Big Sarge. And as always, if anything that I said in my video upsets you or otherwise offended you, I don't care. I'm going to do my thing, and I'm going to watch out for my people. You're either with me or not, but I'm going to stay on target. I'm going to keep the fire alive and do what I need to do to shelter the people that I love from the oppression that we can reliably expect. If that makes you mad, then maybe think about why that is. Hashtag not sorry, not sorry. Two claps and a rick. Buckle up, motherfuckers. It's about to get wild. Woo! And now it's time for the throw punch! I got a sleepy kitty, and I have no idea how long he's going to stay here. And there he goes. He's at the age where he's like, fuck you. I don't want to be hit. I don't know what we're doing, but... So he's like, look at my butthole, guys. <laughs> sir, sir, I don't need... <laughs> what, what's... What? He's like a parrot. Polly, want a cracker? <laughs> Here, let me help you out there, buddy. Let's see, hi to the family, Liberty. No, you... Can't. I just not want to be held. <laughs>